Hi Year 9, this video intends to outline the key details and instructions for your SEM1 CAT, your business plan. Uh, so last week you guys prepared your dev task, your business plan proposal, and this assessment is essentially um, building off of that. So the dev was your rough draft, and then this is the final uh, version of your business plan. So working on this either individually or in small groups or pairs, uh, you guys should have most of what you need to complete the CAT already done really. It's just about reading through your dev feedback, what can I improve on, and then adding some detail to each key section so you get 100%, not 50%. You know, it'll be very frustrating if students who have worked so hard throughout the term, throughout the year, to understand the content. Really what you need to do in the CAD is just demonstrate the content, you know, demonstrate that you do understand. So if there is room for an extra sentence, an extra detail, key statistic, an example, you know, add that detail, you know, it's often we lose marks because one sentence or one word is missing. So really put in a lot of effort for your cat and you'll get a lot of reward, basically. Uh, so the first thing you should do after reading through your dev feedback that's been provided via Compass or Google Classroom is look for your cat file. So it looks like this. Again, you can probably access this via Compass or Google Classroom. But what this does is give you the instructions for the cat. It gives you each of the key um sections or criterion that you're going to be assessed on that you need to include in your CAT business plan. And for each of these, it also has a mark allocation. So for example, if you include a front cover, you'll get one mark. If you discuss what type of business uh, structure you have in terms of a sole trader, so working individually, <laughs> or a partnership, so working in a partnership, um, then you'll get two marks. And then you have to think about, okay, well, how am I going to get two marks versus one mark there? Again, it's about the amount of detail and depth you put into each section. So it's got the details here, the mark allocation, the instructions. It's on this single file here. In terms of how you prepare your business plan, you could do something similar to what you did in the dev in terms of presenting, you know, a Google Slides uh, presentation, Microsoft PowerPoint. So each key slide is going to be one of those uh, criteria in your cat business plan overview, you could create something like this, you know, a Google doc file that has, goes through each of these different sections. As long as you are ticking off all the boxes, you can be a bit creative with it. But those are probably the two simplest ones to go through. In terms of the due date for your cat, uh, it's gonna be due by the end of this week, unless you've organized an extension with your teacher. So by the end of week seven, you're looking at June 3rd, June 4th as your due date. It'll be listed on Compass and in Google Classroom. In terms of what you need to put into your cat, in terms of the key section, start off with a title, a front cover or a table of contents. So this is essentially your title and then another table of contents slide right here. So I talk about, you know, this is where I'm going to include in my presentation on slides three, I'm going to have my overview on slide four, I'm going to have this pretty straightforward stuff. The business overview is similar to your business description in the dev task. So you're building upon that. Don't copy and paste it in because you're not going to get all these marks. <laughs> you need to build upon what you have in the dev task. It's the rough draft. This is the final draft. We're putting in a bit more effort, a bit more detail. Uh, so you're outlining your business name, logo, slogan, whatever you've got to be a bit creative and you know visually show off your business, describing the product, discussing your target audience and rationale. And then the other thing you need to add for your business overview, uh, we've touched on this a bit before, either at the end of the last term. Oh, it's when we were doing marketing product. Um, you guys did a little bit of market research and you prepared your own little Google form or survey for a potential product. That's what you're doing here. So you don't need to actually go and complete the survey, but you need to prepare some sort of survey or questionnaire for potential customers. So what are the questions you would ask during this market research to gauge product interests, consumer preferences, etc.? Uh, next section is business structure. So discussing your form of ownership. So is it a sole trader? Is it a partnership? Maybe you're working together with another small business to enhance your product, to combine these two to make an even better enterprise. Uh, outline advantages and disadvantages ownership structure. So when we looked at types of businesses, so sole trader, partnership, there were different pros and cons. You know, there was liability to we discussed in class, unlimited versus limited liability. Uh, so discuss that in that section there and you'll get yourself two cheeky marks. Pricing. Discuss the startup costs of your business in terms of, you know, what are the product materials, ingredients I need to make my good or service. Advertising, how much is it going to cost me to advertise this product. 
and then outline the product prices and justification for decision, uh, the financial decision you've made there. So again, if I go back to my dev task, we've done a bit of this. Now we're doing the finished product. Now we are adding a bit more detail. Use the feedback you've got from the dev to improve upon your response. Don't just copy and paste it in. <laughs> uh, final section is marketing. So explain the different elements of the promotional mix that you're using to market your business. Uh, justify why these promotions will engage your target audience and then prepare just one advertisement for your business. So that's actually what we completed in class last week. You guys had time to work on a poster or some sort of digital advertisement. You might be a bit creative and prepare like a script for like a TV or a radio advertisement, something like that. Uh, and that'll get you another two marks. The final two marks at about 25 are just for basically the language you're using in your business plan. So are you using full sentences with proper grammar, proper spelling? It's digital, so you shouldn't have any real issue for spelling mistakes, <laughs> but we'll be upset if you spell business wrong, as I've done on most of my class slides this term. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what you're doing for your small business cat. Again, due date is gonna be about one week worth of uh, class time. Uh, if you need extra time, you need to let your teacher know. <laughs> let us know, not the day before, the minute before it's due, let us know in advance. I'm really having trouble, you know, I'm having technical issues or I can't get, talk to my the other person in my group. Can I please have an extension? We'll see what we can do. We can't make any promises, but we want you to do well. And we want you to have an opportunity to demonstrate your understanding so hopefully we can organize something. Uh, but again, if you have questions or concerns throughout the process, please let us know. Refer back to this marking guide throughout the process. You know, it's a checklist, it's a guide. So before you move on to business structure, check what you've done in overview. Have I done this, this, and this? And have I done it to a good enough quality to get full marks? And that's hopefully where you're gonna be asking questions and emailing us throughout each lesson. What do I need to do to fix this or add to this? Or can you just review this? Or I have no idea what this means, please help me out. Um, yeah, hope you guys go all right during remote learning. Hope that your cat isn't too stressful or overwhelming, but if it is, let us know. And uh, yeah, thank you for listening.